to everyone that Canelo's next fight will be in May. We are locking in those dates for next year, Cinco de Mayo and September 16th on those weekends. So Canelo will fight once again in May and September. Um, what else? Questions? Anybody? Questions? Before the fighters come out? May 2nd against who? Well, that, that's exactly that's exactly what we're going to sit down and talk about. Um, it's very interesting because there's the Triple G fight. There's obviously other fights at 154. I have to uh, get a feel of what Canelo uh, wants to do, uh, what his body tells him to, uh, making the weight. Uh, he made 154 and a half, I believe it was. So the question is, is he going to stay at 154? Uh, is he going to stay at 160? Those are the things we're going to talk about. Well, Oscar, but, can I just ask you, you say, you know, you've said in the whole promotion you want the best to fight the best, and clearly this fight was almost sold as the winner fights him, and now all of a sudden we'll see if he fights him next. I mean, how, you know, the fans are all talking about wanting to see that GGG fight. How do you, you know, rationalize putting on another fight as opposed to the fight that the fans are not saying. I'm not saying he's going to fight somebody else. I'm not saying he's going to... I'm not announcing anything. I'm gonna let him rest. We're gonna talk about it. Is he gonna fight Triple G? <laughs> Absolutely, of course. It's not a question. Canelo, Canelo is willing to fight anybody. The very best. That's who he is, that's his character. That's why he's the guy right now, today. He's made his mark and Canelo uh, is is the guy who is um, who is on top of the sport now, and uh, and and the fans deserve the best fights, and that's what we deliver. Oscar, Oscar. Hey, Oscar. Yes. Uh, right here. Uh, what does this mean for Golden Boy Promotions? Uh, this. You guys are coming off a kind of a little losing streak uh, with your last two big fights, and uh, this has to be big for the company, doesn't it? Well, of course, uh, of course, it's big. I mean, it's huge. It's huge. Uh, but it's 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 much bigger than Golden Boy Promotions. It's huge for boxing because this is a new era in our sport, and and and, and get used to this right here exciting fights and the fights that the fans want to see that that's what we're going to deliver and yes it's, it was huge for golden boy promotions absolutely i mean i was <laughs> i was crossing my fingers uh, every single second and every single minute of every round believe me but you win some you lose some i mean that's that's what happens when you fight the best when you're willing to put up your fighters against the very best. I mean, I, I, I sometimes, I'm sometimes confused because a lot of people tell me, well, why did you put him against that tough guy? I mean, don't f fans want to see good fights and competitive fights, you know? So we're going to continue doing what we're doing. And that's, and that's pleasing the fans. That's the bottom line. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I mean, Canelo clearly won. That, that's a fact. Um, I really didn't see the, uh, the scorecards. Um, yes, you can, you can make a strong argument that the scores could have been not too, uh, not too spread apart, not too wide. Uh, but yes, Canelo clearly won. There's no doubt about it. But <laughs> I'm not a judge. I, I, I don't judge fights. Uh, but uh, yes, it was a great fight, and uh, Canelo clearly won. Mr. Dalahoya, when I came in, you were talking about Miguel Cotto's performance. I know he's not your boxer, but 
obviously, on your experience, what can you say about Miguel Cotto's future? Does he has still something to I, I, give? I, yes, I strongly believe Miguel Cotto has a, a lot to, uh, to give to the sport. He proved it tonight against a young guy who's 25 years old, and I mean, he, uh, Canelo fought a, a, a terrific fight um, against a terrific fighter, and um, Cotto shouldn't walk around with his head up, with his head down. He should be proud of his performance. Um, he did an excellent job. I mean, Cotto can go up against anybody, and uh, you know he can become world champion once again. I mean, that's. He's, he still has a lot left in the tank. Os Oski being quite outspoken recently about Mayweather and, and the lack of entertainment that some of his fights provided. Do you feel that a fight like tonight did some, went some way to maybe reversing some of the damage you feel was done to boxing in, in May? Well, look, I mean, people, people, people were eager to see um, an exciting fight, you know. After the uh, after the disappointment uh, uh, with Mayweather and Pacquiao uh, of lack of action, uh, you know, people were were eager to see a good fight, and uh, and that's what both fighters delivered. So uh, you know, the fans were happy. The fans were on their feet. They were cheering. They it was an exciting night of boxing. Um, you know, overall, it was an exciting fight of uh, night of boxing. Last question right here. Oscar. Hi, right here. Uh, Oscar, what about our rematch with Mayweather? Nobody believes he's retired. He will uh, try that record of Rocky Marciano. What about our rematch with Canelo? Well, uh, we, we would be open to it, absolutely. I'm sure. I'm sure Canelo uh, will uh, will love uh, the opportunity. Uh, as like I said, right now Canelo is the man right now, and that's exactly why I said we're fighting him in May, and we're fighting him in September. Uh, whether it's uh, here in Las Vegas, whether it's anywhere around the world, he is fighting in May and September. And, uh, you know, uh, if, if Mayweather wants to fight him, uh, and then, you know, we can discuss that uh, in the future. Let me, let me, uh, let me, uh, let me uh, call up to the podium our, our, the, the, the co-promoters uh, of this event who did a, a wonderful job and it was a pleasure working with them, uh, my Iraq Nation, Michael Yomer.